just at the point in the recital when we were leaving the Baroque era. Right. And remember, the word Baroque means misshapen pearl. There wasn't a lot of what we would call a lot of evenness to the music. Okay. And we'll see some of that going forward, the even the evenness that came out of the Baroque era. Okay. Um, but we were talking about the difference between an opera and an oratorio. That's right. Now, to get the idea of the difference between an opera and an oratorio, we first have to get a little background on each one. Okay. Uh, the opera is based on secular themes. Um, so think about today's soap operas that you see on TV, Days of Our Lives, all of these wonderful shows, daytime television. <laughs> An opera and an oratorio, to really get an understanding of why we have these two different art forms, we have to take a look at where each one came from. Okay. Now, the first one to come was the opera. You know, operas are based on very secular themes, um, so themes that are not church-worthy. Oh, an opera. An opera. That's interesting. Um, they revolve around the culture, the day-to-day -day happenings of the culture. Okay. Take, for instance, uh, your favorite soap opera, whether it be Days of Our Lives or whatever your other favorite daytime mm. soap opera is. Um, that Those really came from an opera. Um, the one, soap opera. Yeah. And wow. the, the main one, the one that we have an aria from in this recital is Don Giovanni by Mozart. Okay. And just a little idea of what these secular themes are. I'm going to read directly from here. Okay. Uh, Don Giovanni are the dissolute punished. Okay. Was first performed at the National Theater in Prague on October 29th, 1787. And fun fact, I have been to the National Theater in Prague before. Ah. It's very beautiful. It's in green, too. The libretto was based on Giovanni Bertali's at libretto for, an, for another opera that was written in 1787 as well, um, which found its really backbone in the Don Giovanni story, uh, or the Don Juan story, the Don Juan myth. Everybody knows about the Don, the Don Juan. Right, right. Um, Don Giovanni is Mozart's second celeste successful collaboration with uh, this librettist whose name was, oh, I've skipped, Lorenzo de Ponte. Okay. It was his second successful collaboration. Their first successful collaboration was um, Le Nozze di Figaro, which is The Marriage of Figaro in 1786, so the year before. Um, Don Giovanni is the oldest opera to have remained in the repertoire without significant breaks since its first performance. I think it's number 10 of most performed operas in the world. Wow. While it is intended to be an opera buffa, which is an opera, which is a funny opera, uh, the heightened emotion brought on by the supernatural and moralistic elements in the story make it one of the most dramatic works in Mozart's canon. Wow. In 16th, this is the synopsis of the opera. In 16th century Spain, Don Ottavio, a nobleman, is betrothed to Donna Anna. Don Giovanni attempted to, sen to seduce Anna, then murdered her father, the commandant, when he interceded. Ottavio is not sure he believes Anna's story, but knows her emotions are his, and he must. To what and he must do what he can to resolve the situation, and that sets up the aria dalla sua pace. Okay. Um, so you can see it's very, it's very um, secular themed, very yeah. um, everyday life for a, to a certain extent themed, yeah. because um, the, one of the funniest arias in Don Giovanni occurs in the very probably about the first 20, 30 minutes of the opera, mm -hmm. and it's the catalog aria. Don Giovanni's assistant is just going down the list of all these women he slept with. So many in this country, so many in that country, um, short, tall, skinny, fat, it doesn't matter. He sleeps with them all. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. I, I mean, yeah. it's, it's really... It, it, it's really the comedic effect of the show, that, of the opera, that really makes it so intriguing. Right. But that's an example of what goes on in an opera. 
Now, an oratorio is completely on the other end of the spectrum.